G'day Ice Cream Lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. G'day Ice Cream Lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Gilbert, always getting in a shot. We'll put Gilbert over in the corner there. Next thing we start to film, lo and behold, I don't know how he does it. Anyway, okay, you can stay. Thanks for tuning in this episode. The things that uh, keep us smiling down here at Scoop School. Look, we're broadcasting here from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, check out scoopschool.com. You can visit us uh, in person in a class. You can come and uh, look at our live stream classes. We live stream from here every single Friday afternoon, scoopschool.community. Also, check us out. We have a booth at the upcoming virtual trade show, the biggest virtual ice cream trade show in the country, conecon2020.com, November 10th, 11th, and 12th. Check it out. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, we do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Carpajani. Uh, probably, I don't have this by fact, I haven't fact-checked this, but I've been told they're the biggest manufacturer of ice cream equipment in the world. The link is down below. Whether you want batch freezers, soft serve, shake, popsicle, check them out, uh, carpajani.com. Again, the link's down below. When you're talking to someone there, tell them that Steve sent you along. Okay, so we touch on this a lot in class. Uh, and I still see these things cropping up in ice cream shops from time to time. Crazy scoops. Let me, uh, let me tell you. And I, I don't collect them, but I come across them. This here, I don't really know what's going on here. But this scoop here, um, I bought at a grocery store. I think it's more for stabbing intruders than it is uh, scooping ice cream. Uh, very bizarre. This is a scoop that I picked up at um, Ikea. It's a nice looking scoop. It's a nice shape to it, nice art form to it. Uh, this is a scoop, I don't know where I got it from, but so I think someone gave it to me as a Christmas present. Uh, and look, it's okay. It says Xylas on it. This one here, there's quite a story to. Um, this was brought to class by someone who, uh, this was part of a Kickstarter campaign from, I think it was uh, an astronautical engineer or someone very smart who wanted to design the perfect scoop, sold it online. Part of the problem with all of these scoops are, they're not technically approved when it comes to you serving ice cream in your shop. Part of the reason for that is there are two regulatory agencies in the United States that basically approve equipment and food service implements, appliances, uh, tools, and that is either UL, Underwriters Limited, um, or uh, NSF, which I think is the National Safety Federation. I could be wrong on that one. Uh, but basically, most of your ice cream scoops, uh, most of your appliances really should have a UL or an NSF scoop on them, or I should say stamp on them. So for example, this Disher brand uh, scoop has an NSF stamp on the handle. Come on, focus, focus in on me. Let me try it again. See, that says NSF on there. Oh, there's a shot. Look at that, just drink that in for a couple of moments. Anyway, one of the reasons why this, say, is approved and this is not, is because this, this NSF approved scoop actually has a gasket here between the, the uh, head or the scoop and the plastic handle. There's a black O-ring here that stops dairy settling in the crevices where that plastic meets the bowl, and this one does not. So you can kind of see that if you had ice cream drizzling down here, you would get kind of dairy building up down here underneath the uh, rubber handle. It would kind of get bacteria growing in there. It's not a good thing. So there is a standard for ice cream scoops. You really should make sure that you're using scoops that are NSF or UL approved. Now, does NSF or UL have uh, inspectors and spies that jump out of helicopters, smash through the window, check your scoops? No, they do not. But if someone got sick in your store from some sort of bacterial infection and the health department came in and saw that you were using a scoop like this that was not UL or NSF approved, that could be a bit of a problem. So um, not all scoops are created equal. Uh, we spoke about sneeze coming on. Another one. 
We spoke about scoops in another video, but I don't know whether I touched on that. And again, um, there are all different types of scoops. Third sneeze coming on. Usually after I sneeze, there'll be a period of uh, sniffly nose. Let's try and get through the end of the video before that happens. So check your scoops. If they're not UL or NSF approved, go onto some accredited websites, buy your scoops from there. You don't want to get into a situation where someone gets sick, there's an inspection, your scoops aren't NSF approved and a little bit awkward. Uh, that's all we have for this episode. Nice and easy, a uh, little tip for you. Do a check through your drawers, make sure your scoops are NSF or UL approved. Look, if you have any questions about the ice cream business, scoops, spades, whisks, buckets, mix, flavors, boxes, floor coverings, tables, screw caps, Gilbert, leave a message down below. Leave a message, why do I keep saying that? I, I'm castigated every time I say message. Leave a comment down below. Madeline just nearly stabbed me with that scoop. Leave a comment down below. We love hearing from you. Let us know. Uh, Carpajani, click on that link as well. Click on all of them. Keep on scooping.